Hello everyone, uh, today we're viewing the Hilton Garden Inn in Budapest in the city center. Uh, so here this is kind of the basic room, if you book the least expensive category this is what you will get um, because basically the only thing that's better is the suite which we didn't book um, this time. As you can see it looks relatively modern and bright. Um, I didn't check the date when it was built or renovated but it definitely is I think one of the newer ones also because you support digital keys. Um, let's go in. So um, we actually uh, took the twin option this time, which I can recommend generally. If you're, for example, a couple, it does improve sleep quality for most people. So try it out. Um, then, of course, you have the obligatory uh, big screen here. Uh, I think you can even. Yeah, you can even uh, plug yourself in via HDMI. There's an HDMI port and you can actually access it because it's not like tethered to the wall, making it difficult. Um, and then here uh, you have the typical Hilton uh, desk kind of where you can get some work done. Um, in my experience, this is actually uh, good enough at least for half a day, depending on uh, your personal needs, uh, maybe even a full day sometimes. Of course, um, if you want more comfort, you should always go for a co-working space or something similar where you have a bit more control over your desk and chair. But this is actually kind of comfy. It's, um, it's relatively soft here. And I would say the posture is also relatively good. Um, this at least for me aligns well in terms of height and elbows and so on. There's not too much of a view you can basically see uh, just other buildings because it's in the middle of Budapest. Uh, it's not at the Danube River um, But what you know, what can you demand for that price? And then finally the luxury look into the bathroom uh, This one is actually I would say more on the spacious side like if I've seen a few Hilton Garden Inns where the similar category of room has half the size of a bathroom. This is actually pretty big for a Hilton Garden Inn bathroom, I would say. It looks really, really nice to me. Um, I, I really like that. There's no bathtub, um, but at least there is a really nice shower in there. And also a small fridge. Let's check if it's actually on. Yeah, it is actually on, so you can put your beer uh, in there. Um, because in some hotels I noticed it's not always on or not always cool. Um, so that looks pretty decent to me. And uh, of course it's certainly one of the more expensive hotels in Budapest, but if you come at the right time and you're uh, a status member, then of course that helps to get a pretty, pretty decent deal here. Of course, I also tested the internet speed, uh, which I always do. And uh, I found out that through the Wi-Fi here, you get about 10 megabits symmetrically in the room, which is kind of cool. Of course, it may vary if you're in a different room, but I think that's a good uh, ballpark. I've seen better and I've seen worse in some other hotels, I think for basic work and even most video calls, that should be enough. I also did test the speed on the 4G network. So here I'm on the, I think, Yetel, Hungary network, and I got about uh, 7 megabits downstream and only 0 0.7 upstream in the room. So here, sort of the mobile backup doesn't really help you too much, but um, for some cases, um, you can maybe use it. If you need something like a business center, some place where you can do some work um, because the room is not enough, then there are quite a few co-working spaces in walking distance here. Um, some of them are like five minutes away. Um, and even the next Regos, so if you're, for example, a Regos member, is about 13 minutes uh, of walking distance away. So there's clearly a backup plan if you need a proper desk or um, just more space than the hotel room will provide you. That's it from my side. I'm Raphael. See you in the next video.